So Tommy DeVito and the New York Giants proved haters like me, hater fans, I guess, wrong yesterday. But what does it mean for their future? Coming up next. So I would just like to take just a few seconds to apologize to Tommy DeVito. I would I would say I have disrespected him in the last few weeks because specifically in that Jet game, he looked like he didn't know how to throw the football. Now, I understand there are reasons why that was the case, but if he was the suited up backup quarterback for that game and the passes that he threw weren't very good and just the completely complete no trust of the coaching staff with him had me a little concerned. Now the Dallas Cowboys are a good team. I've thought whatever of that as well, but yesterday was the first time that I looked at Tommy DeVito and I said, you know what? Maybe he could be a backup quarterback. Now, I don't know what it is with the Giants versus the Commanders. I kind of wish they played the Commanders every week because then we'd be undefeated. I don't understand why the Giants or why the Commanders can't beat the Giants. And knowing that they turned the ball over so many times, it was ridiculous. There's no question. That was the main difference in the game. Fumbles. Oh, my God. How many fumbles? You could just hear the deflation in the crowd after all those turnovers. And yet they still had a chance to win the game. But you got to give credit to the New York Giants for sticking it out. It was a fun game. There's no doubt about it. I was cheering when Isaiah Simmons gets that pick six. I'm like, oh, my God. Yes, we just won. That's great. Tommy DeVito. Awesome game for him. Great to see these guys. Great to see this defense get these fumbles. Great to see these touchdowns. Tommy DeVito had three touchdowns yesterday. Threw for three touchdowns. I was like, what? Three touchdowns? That's crazy. But it doesn't really mean anything. And that's what's disappointing about it. But I think what the New York Giants have decided, especially after trading Leonard Williams, after that horrible Jet game, that horrible Jet ending, they've decided... This season's a wash. Let's see what we got for the rest of the year. Let's try to be as competitive as we can. We're going to try and win games. You know, I don't believe in tanking necessarily, but this year, knowing how bad the things were for the team, the team was losing, you know, obviously you still want to be competitive in these games, and I'm going to be a little bit happy when they win games. And we've seen in the past, we just talked about it with Zach Wilson, is that, you don't really, you're really not guaranteed a great quarterback at even as high as the number two pick in the draft. I mean, Sam Darnold, guys like him. I mean, these are all players. Uh, Trey Lance, like these are all players that were highly picked and you're not guaranteed anything. We don't even know if the Giants are going to draft a quarterback. I would, but we still don't know if that's going to be the case. Now, The New York Giants won versus the Commanders, a team that's painfully mediocre and a team that the Giants have basically had their number for a long, long time. But I think the route that the Giants are going into is to kind of give good vibes into next season. I think that's the what they're trying to do, because let's face it, they stink. They're not very good. Right. They had a brutal first half of their schedule. Things were going wrong all over the place. They forgot how to win games like they did last year where they would close it out at the end. Not happening this year. And I think what the Giants have decided is, listen, we're just going to play our hearts out each week. Now, we'll see what happens when it comes to better teams. I wouldn't say they play their hearts out versus the Dallas Cowboys. wouldn't say that happened. But Brian Dable, I think, is trying to coach a little bit for his job a little bit. Now, I don't believe he should be gone. But if the Giants ended up with two wins for the rest of the season, be like, ugh. Bringing him back would be, like, weird. Just a little weird. I still would have done it, probably, but it would have been a little weird. Development is what the rest of this season is. Bringing in good vibes into next year, possibly with the new quarterback, new direction, new roster. And I think that is the plan going forward for Joe Shane, Brian Dable, this New York Giants organization. Tommy DeVito is not going to be a starting quarterback. I still don't believe that. I don't think anybody who, even the highest believer, doesn't really believe that. He made some really nice plays yesterday. 
Now, if he could be a backup quarterback, that's great. He starts for the rest of the season. I don't want to see Tyrod Taylor. I don't want to see it. I like Tyrod Taylor for when we were trying to be competitive and win games to possibly still compete for a postseason spot. But once that opportunity fell out the window, I don't need to see Tyrod Taylor again. I don't. Tommy DeVito, which is so funny because it's the character from Goodfellas, played by Joe Pesci. It's kind of fun, and we've kind of embraced Jersey Kid too, right? I've said this in the past. Love Jersey Kids. Love Jersey Dudes. All right? Always rooting for those guys because I'm from Jersey myself. So Tommy DeVito coming in, playing a great football game, getting a good win on Sunday, and let's say made some really nice, impressive plays. He just did. Um, Held on to the football a little too long. That O-line still wasn't good with a mix of him holding on to the football too much. It was sacked a ridiculous amount of times. And, you know, in the but they still got the win. And that defense, I think we've taken away, and we've already known this, the defense at the beginning of the season couldn't tackle anybody. Couldn't tackle a cone. They couldn't tackle anybody. And now they're really good. They're really, really good. And now, like, you're seeing it as if, like, I think we looked at the Jets and the Giants as, like, these two different teams of status at the moment. But you look at it, not really. Right? The Giants are 3-8. and eight. They have three wins. Right? The Giants, uh, the Jets are, uh, the Jets are 4-6. and six. Giants are 3-8. and eight. So, you know, it's not that crazy. The Giants have a direction going forward. The Jets, obviously, we need Aaron Rodgers to have a painted picture of what they're doing. But I think the Giants move going forward is, is I'm trying to talk myself into it, even though this year has been one of the biggest disasters in Giant history. There's no reason why the Giants can at least end the season with good vibes and giving it their best. And then going into the offseason and really taking some time to structure this roster in the draft and have a real direction moving forward. And Tommy DeVito, even if he's not going to be the quarterback of the future. Prove to me, hey, maybe there's a culture we can bring back again. Maybe there's a development process that we can have faith in. That's all I can take away from this Giants-Commanders game. And I don't really care that it suffers our draft stock or whatever. I These players are playing for their jobs. They're trying to win. I'm going to enjoy the win yesterday. Because the number one pick, number two pick, doesn't guarantee me anything. Sure, I want Caleb Williams. Sure. But, you know, I need a good culture as well. That's really important. Hopefully, they can make the right decisions in the draft. Joe Shane has proven he can do that. He's had some duds as well. Not as not as bad as Joe's Douglas with Zach Wilson. Joe Douglas has good ones as well, but they can't screw up the future of the draft coming up. That's all I can take away from this game. The Giants, hopefully, are moving into a direction of pride and player development. That's all I have to say.